To some driving by on the highway, it may look like a simple summer recreational facility on the Kitsap Peninsula. But the Seabeck Conference Center is so much more than just a place for cookouts and community meetings. It's a place where families are born. Just one of those things, uh, it's, you can't explain it very well. You come across the bridge and you're in a different place. And uh, it just, for most people, it takes. And uh, the groups have been coming back again and again and again for, well, there's one group that's it's 100 years now. They started here in 19, 1915. The conference center was once the site of a large sawmill that was built in the 1800s before the land was purchased in 1914 by Lawrence Coleman, a prominent Seattle businessman who turned the property into a YMCA center in 1915. Then in 1936, Coleman's son Ken incorporated the conference center's grounds as part of a nonprofit corporation and deeded the corporation and the 90 acres that now make up the Seaback Conference Center. It was originally uh, purchased by the Coleman family from Seattle and uh, was operated for many years by the Coleman family and then I believe it was 1983 or 4, it was incorporated underneath the current format with the conference center and, and, and it's a nonprofit and it serves nonprofits as well. On June 13th, the Seabeck Conference Center celebrated its 100th anniversary. The day-long celebration was attended by those who have visited the grounds for decades, along with those who are rather new to them. At the end of school, I um, go to school here at the end. Um, I like um, when it's the carnival. You get lots of candy and you get to play some games. Along with music, food, and games, a decorative clock was unveiled to commemorate the conference center's 100-year milestone. And we were trying to think what we, what we could do as a longtime gift to the campus to commemorate our centennial. And we had a guy come in from Bremerton that talked about uh, saving the clock in front of the Historical Society. And uh, so he gave us the idea and we bought this clock. Chuck Craning has been the conference center's director for the last seven years. Before that, he started out as a cook at the facility 25 years ago. I love the guests. I love, 95% of our groups come back every year. So it's really like having your friends come and visit every year. And uh, I love the view and the campus. And this place just grows on you. You can't help but love this place. The celebration wasn't just for the conference center itself. It was also a celebration of the family and friendships that have formed over the decades as a result of meeting at this special place. It's like coming home every time we come across the bridge. It's, it's family, it, it just represents family. It's like a big family reunion every year um, with the same families even though they're not blood related. Um, we have our blood family uh, relation here that comes every year and then we have our Seebeck family. Laurel Arwine has been coming to the conference center with her family every year since 1978. She says Seebeck is where her family wants to be every July. And it doesn't matter um, what's going on in the rest of the world, this is where they want to be the last week of July. And it's our one week to spend with my father and my kids and my grandkids all together for an, a whole week. Pat O'Rourke has been visiting the conference center every year for the past 28 years. She says she first came to Seebeck reluctantly as a speaker, but left a believer in what it means to the community. Um, when I first came with my own group, there was so much focus on my own group, but as soon as I got on the board, I realized how many groups use this conference center. And so there were, you know, it has to be used by a nonprofit. So nonprofit groups come and they do their retreats and reflections and they do their work and they, they do healing. We have a compassionate friends group who have lost children. There's Alcoholics Anonymous groups that come. There's a whole bunch of groups. The Deaf Blind group comes every year with about 300 people. Community involvement isn't new to Seabeck. In 2012, the center received a gift allowing construction of a boardwalk along wetlands that are on the grounds. The construction of this boardwalk was labored by students from Bates Technical College in Tacoma. Our executive director contacted Bates College and they brought out their expertise and, and built, the, uh, built the boardwalk for us. 
And it really is unique because it allows people to get out kind of into a wetland area and watch the, the native birds and, and uh, we have lots of eagles and, and king, uh, blue herons and all kinds of things. The Seabeck Conference Center is more than just its name suggests. It's a place where community is built and special relationships have been forming for a century. I came here and I didn't know anybody. And within a matter of a week or so, I mean, it, uh, it had clicked. And there's people here today that worked with me back then, and I still have good memories of them. 100 years old is hardly any places, I would imagine, on the Kitsap Peninsula, and certainly not operating for a full 100 years. Seabeck is awesome! Seabeck is awesome!